What's up guys, Jay Joseph here, and today I'm excited to bring to you guys the second shoe made by a female in skateboarding, her own pro model by one of my favorite companies, Adidas. This is the Nora by Adidas. So if you look at this shoe right here, there's one thing I actually can point out about this shoe that hypes me up and already lets me know that this is gonna be a really solid shoe, is that it takes like pieces from the tie shot, in my opinion, with the double piece toe cap. And then the backing reminds me so much of the match court, but it feels a lot more durable. It's a durable mesh going on back here. So this shoe, one thing I wanted to point out about it, it is 50% made of recyclable material. I feel like this mesh back here is that 50%. It takes over half of the shoe going towards the back. And I know they've been reusing uh, materials for the leather, which is awesome as well. The toe, however, is gonna be your most durable piece. It is a double piece toe. Your most durable layer being this top half, your flick point, and then the under piece actually goes under the whole entire toe, giving you as much durability and dependability as possible. The tongue is nice and moderately padded and nice and tall, and it has this nice Nora hit in here, which is so damn sick. I'm super hyped on it. And then the foxing tape at the very front is raised up a little bit more to give you a little bit of extra flick life in this shoe. The reason why I've mentioned also that this is like a Tyshawn and like a match court is that it has the the look of the Tyshawn at the toe, in my opinion, but also has the look of the match court up top. So one warning I will say is that there's no real lace protectors for you. So if you are looking to protect your laces or have long lasting laces, I recommend the homie Christian Flores and his extended wear laces company. I will leave a link to that in the description for you guys. The insole that we do have here is your moderate plain Adidas foam insole. It's not gonna be too protective, but it's not gonna be not helpful. So if you guys find Adidas insoles not as helpful or comfortable, it is removable 100%, it's not glued down, so you could definitely toss in another insole. Adidas takes a different tread pattern, kind of following the uh, basketball treading. You have the uh, zigzag herringbone at the bottom, and then you have like a more basketball take at the toe. Oh, thank you. I'm so sorry. I did not mean for you to come out here. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm getting my tropical smoothie. If you guys don't know, I love tropical smoothies so much. You do the same. Thank you so much. I'm the worst. I can't believe I made them come out here. That is the Adidas Nora. It is a simple yet really awesome shoe made by Adidas. As you guys know, Adidas and Vans are my favorite companies. And they both made the first skateboarding shoes made by women in skateboarding. This is a women's pro model shoe. Keep that in mind. This isn't a different colorway. This isn't a name put to a different colorway of a shoe that already exists. This is her actual pro model. So I'm hyped to have it, hyped to own it. I can't wait to skate these shoes, man. I'm super hyped. So yeah, stick with me. Check out the skateboarding that I have in this shoe. Check out how I style it. And I will catch you at the end of the video. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm cutting this session short. So I do have a dilemma. I went on ahead and got these shoes a half size smaller, expecting them to feel like they were too big. So they're gonna fit perfectly by being a half size smaller. But it turns out it's a little too small. It gets my feet very, very tight um, because my toes are super constricted when I did get the half size smaller. So you guys should know that these are true to size. All right, so I'm at Cowtown. I'm grabbing the nine and a half this time. I'm gonna get this colorway so you guys know it's a different size. And uh, we're gonna skate them later. Like I told you guys, same materials everywhere, except for on the upper, what's backing the toe is leather instead of suede. So that's gonna be dope. That's gonna be extra durability. And everything else is the same, just different colorways.
right guys, so the Nora skate, awesome. I really enjoyed skating it last night. Although I didn't really film as much of the skating that we did throughout Tempe Town Lake. I just wanted to like enjoy the time with the homies. But like the flick on the shoes, awesome. The fit is a true to size fit. Don't be like me and get a half size smaller thinking that it's going to fit long. It actually is a true size fit. I did a factory tie knot up here just to show you guys that I don't have to tighten these shoes. And then I also left the top eyelet without laces going through it. So you know that I don't have to choke the shoe out. This is literally a perfect size fit for me. I found it to be very, very comfortable. The only thing I will say is that I think for taking like big impact or anything of that nature, you probably will want to switch out the insole that's in here. And then probably eventually you will go through this uh, netting back here, this uh, material, but it is very, very strong. Like compared to other materials that they've used that are recyclable in this mesh like look, this is a lot stronger than all of them. I'm really, really hyped to be skating Nora's shoe. I think she did an amazing job on this one, honestly, and it just feels great to skate. I didn't feel like I had to break them in or anything. I already felt used to the board with these on my feet. And the fact that I didn't have to tie them super tight on the first day already let me know that this is going to be a pretty nice fitting shoe throughout the life of the shoe. So if you guys want to check out a pair of Nora's yourselves, make sure you check out your local skate shop. If they carry Adidas, they will definitely have these. If not, and your local doesn't have them, definitely check out Adidas' website or online skate shop. You should find the Nora's there. This is the second pro shoe made by a woman in skateboarding the first one being lizzie armanto's shoe by vans and i think that the females are really making some awesome shoes they have some great input and they're always doing something that's a little bit more sustainable than the guys are in skateboarding but still giving you great durability and great board feel and great skateability so i don't know if we need to pick up from where they're leaving off or maybe they're just better at making shoes than us but all I know is that I love this shoe. I'm going to continue to skate it, and I will do a full review later on my channel. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you are not subscribed already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I have more content on the way for you guys. Thank you guys for stopping by. Catch you in the next video. Peace out. Everybody's living like the clock don't change. Being comfortable, equipment to the same old thing. I'll be damned if I am living like this, not a better day. It's my time to go and get it. Fuck what anybody say.